is basically unheard of. Bill Draper shared pictures of a dolphin sighting in the James River earlier this month. He watched it for about 15 minutes as it moved upstream. The dolphin was looked like it was feeding. I saw fish jumping at, you know, around it and stuff, and it was moving from place to place. So it, it appeared perfectly healthy. He was on Discover the James tour boat at the time at the Barina Enon Bridge, looking for eagles and ospreys with his professional camera. This is my camera. <laughs> It wasn't right on top of us. When his attention was quickly diverted. Would you say that this is very unusual? I say, I would say yes. The okay. sighting location in the James is very unusual. Jamie Testa and the Chesapeake Dolphin Watch team have been tracking dolphins in the bay for five years now, thanks to more than 10,500 citizen scientists who are users of the app and report sightings. Graduate research assistant Lauren Rodriguez says they have gotten inquiries that the dolphin was lost or in trouble, but she says the behavior appeared to be normal based on the photos. That location where they were sighted far up the James River was, it's about 23 feet deep, and that is more than enough for dolphin pods. They can go up to like six feet deep. The team also shared this video of a recent dolphin sighting in the Pamunkey River, a tributary of the York River. This year we've had a couple sightings much further upstream than usual. Likely when we see them in these locations very far upstream, they're following food or have followed food and maybe they're scouting out some new territory. Yeah, generally speaking, they sh um, will only spend short periods of time in the really low salinity water. They can travel up to 80 miles a day. A new animated map shows their comings and goings over the past five years. Come north from the mouth uh, of Chesapeake Bay at the Atlantic Ocean, kind of push up, go about to Annapolis, maybe um, even the Patapsco, the mouth of the Patapsco and Rock Hall kind of. And then right around August, we see them kind of turn around and head back down to warmer waters. The river's cleaner than it used to be. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, things going on to, you know, to clean up the river and to clean up the sewage, the raw sewage going into the river. The Dolphin Watch team says they're excited to confirm these sightings because it can impact the timing of projects. And that can really inform management decisions. For example, if they needed to um, do work on that bridge that the dolphin was uh, sighted near, I think it was Route 295, if they needed to work on that bridge, we could say, don't work on that bridge, don't cause noise. And in time, they'll know if dolphins in this part of the bay are a trend or a fluke. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.